Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ashcraft. If you are new here, you can follow me on Instagram at that same name. I will have everything linked and spelled down below in the description box. This is my floss tube channel where I talk about all things cross stitch and anything else I feel like. Uh, today is July 8th. This is floss tube episode 37. Um, last week I did a whip parade, which, uh, I think it ended up being over an hour long or close to an hour. It was really long. Um, <laughs> I talked about two whips in that where, um, I pointed out what I had been working on that week. Um, I have one of those whips here, but the other one is my work whip. So that is back at work. Um, I think I'm just going to bring it home like once a month to show whatever progress I've made because I don't get to work on it too often. So um, I have the one other whip. I didn't work on it this week, but to show you the progress from the week before, if you did not watch the whip parade or if you don't like whip parades or if you have no plans on watching the whip parade or whatever. Um, I also did not talk about any haul last week and because of the whip parade and I got... I have a little mound, uh, which is fine because I'm I'm pretending they're all for my birthday, which is next Wednesday on the 14th. Um, so, um, let's get into our whips. So the the whip that I worked on for the rest of June, after it would have been episode 35, um, was stitching by the stitching. Stitching with the housewives, housewives, real housewives. You guys know what I'm talking about. My brain is not working today. This whole week has just been, um, yesterday felt like a Monday. Tuesday felt like a Monday. I took my hot mess mug, my Ray Dunn hot mess mug to work. And that is now my new work mug. And it is like, it is fitting. It is very fitting for this week. Today I am... Spoiler for frog warts, if you don't have your box yet, I'm drinking out of my year two mug. Um, frog warts is right now, everybody, it's right now. Because I have to work and I have appearances scheduled, I don't really get to participate today and tomorrow. Um, so most of my participating will be Saturday and Sunday. Um, if I can squeeze a few things in here or there today and tomorrow, um, Thursday and Friday, I will. Um, like last night there was a stitch and chat and I didn't have on whatever movie they were watching. I think it was the second Fantastic Beast movie, but I just, I had my video off and my, and my speaker off and I was just stitching along with everybody. Um, I was in my pajamas, which was why I did not turn on my video. Uh, nobody wants to see that. So, um, so I, I will be doing frog warts. Somebody who I would highly suggest watching her channel if you want like a really, I don't know, immersive, detailed recap, if you will, is Beth from Busy Bees, Busy, Busy Bee Stitches. Yes, Busy Bee Silly Me, I think that's her Instagram, Busy Bee Stitches. I'll have her linked below. But she, she's been doing like a vlog style of um, working on the year two band sampler and she's almost finished. I don't think she's finished yet. I think she's almost finished. And so, um, so yeah, it's, I'm really excited to actually participate and watch the movies and have a marathon. Um, so there's that. So January. So this is what I worked on, uh, till the end of June. Um, and I, I'm trying to remember the last time you would have seen it. I just had a little bit of, I had like the outline on the truck and I had the outline on the dog and the chicken and I think I'd started on the snowman. I might have been wrong. So here is where I am at. And so I've finished all of the white in this center section um, and I'm going to do all the rest of the colors in this area and then I'll move on to the big snowmen because they're just they're they're big they're big and I used up a full skein of what is it 3862 
No, 38.65. I used up a whole skein of, of this, doing this, this thing. Now, I don't know when I started this in January, if I had a full skein, I'm pretty sure I did. So um, this uses a lot of white and it calls for two skeins. So um, yeah, I don't know when I will pick this back up again. Um, right now I am doing Christmas in July and Cross Stitch Camp, which are the other two whips that I will show you here in a second. So um, I don't know, I'll probably pick this up in a little bit when I feel like I just really wanna push for a finish. Um, I think it might take me a little while to get a finish on this one just because the snowmen are so big. But it's like once you finish all the white, there's really not much left because the colors are just accents. So um, I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping to get this done by January 1st. Yeah. Um, I feel like I look a little strange. Okay, so then my next whip that I worked on is my camp project. So this is Candy Corn of Mischief by Bent Creek. Um, the challenge for July is to stitch on a designer you've never stitched before, so a new to you designer. And I've had this for a while, but I never, I had never stitched it, and I haven't stitched anything else by Bent Creek. Um, I think it's so cute. I was totally inspired and influenced by Erin from the Steel City Stitchers. Um, I even purchased it from Stitches and Things in Fenton, Michigan. And um, I just think it's so cute. And I love all these. This series is called Thing of Things, I believe. And so um, I they have other ones and they're super, super cute. So this is my camp project. And camp, I will have the video linked down below. It's with Sherry, the Colorado cross stitcher. Um, she does like a knitting camp or has been doing a knitting camp for a long time and she decided um, to try doing a cross stitch camp this year. So, this is a very interesting, this was a kit. So here's where I'm at. I've finished all of the orange colors there's only two orange colors. Um, so I've finished the entire middle section except for like the accent pieces, the accent colors. Um, this is a linen, it's like a burlap. It's 18 count and I'm stitching one, one floss strand over two linen threads. So one over two. Um, and I'm using pearl cotton what came in the kit um, it's been a learning curve using the pearl cotton because I feel like the eyes of my needles aren't big enough for the pearl cotton so it's been a little bit of a struggle trying to thread the needle um, and then it's also really tight uh, when I try to run it through on the back um, but I, I really like how this is looking. I think it's gonna be so cute. And um, I haven't decided which section I wanna do next. I'll probably do the ghosts because I think it'll go really quickly, um, which is gonna be this portion down here. Um, but I, I really am loving this and I honestly did not wanna put this down for Christmas in July. Um, I worked on this for four days, so from the first through the fourth, and I just really, really enjoyed working on this. So um, this is going, from now on, it'll be my weekend project, and the during the week will be for Christmas in July. Um, so like I mentioned, uh, Pearl Cotton is what came with the kit, and I went ahead and bobbinated them and they're in a, a bendy flip from Bags Plus, which you can find on Etsy or um, occasionally on Michelle Bendy's live sales. Um, but yeah, if you are looking for this pattern, I would highly suggest looking at stitches and things in Fenton, Michigan, because I had a hard time finding this. Um, I just realized the pattern's on the back. I did have a hard time finding this, 
So um, I, I know that she had it and I don't know who else has them. Um, so yes, so that's that one. Oh, good coffee today. Um, all right, so then my next one, my Harry Potter bag, but not Harry Potter themed. This is my first Christmas in July project. I am doing Farmhouse Christmas by Little House Needleworks. I have a hair somewhere on my face. Um, I'm grabbing all the patterns. So I have all of the patterns here, except for the one that I'm working on, which is down here. Um, so these, there are nine squares. You can do them individually like this, or you can do them all together on one big piece and you have nine squares, three by three. And it, there's a free border that you can print out from the website. So I'm doing the, the larger one with them all together. Um, I started in the middle because when I started this, I was still a center starter. I think if I had started this like this year, I would have started in a corner because I feel like I would have liked that better. But this is my least favorite square, so it's probably good that I'm getting it out of the way. So this is grandma's quilt. This, so this is the center square. Um, this is a 16 count Ada, because also at the time, I only stitched on Ada. I was too scared to try linen or even weave. So I have a large piece that I've cut down, hopefully measured correctly. Um, and so here is what I have. Um, the last time you saw this was in 2020. It has been a while. So I had this border up here and I, I so this week I did this. Um, the green was already there and most of the square was already there, but these this green color and this darker brown color, I did all of that. So, um, and I've worked on this for two days because I didn't stitch on Monday. I was really tired. So, um, that, I've, I've made some good progress. So I have three more days to work on this My for the month. My Christmas in July plans are, I have four Christmas whips, four large Christmas whips. Um, and, oh, I don't think I said, this is a 16 count natural light Ada. I got it from one, two, three stitch. Um, it's the same fabric. I did the patriotic ABC uh, Eagle from Barbara Anna. Um, I really like this, but it is very small. I just feel like, cause I'm stitching in hand, I feel like it is very small, but and I, I didn't feel like that. It was like that with the Eagle, but anyways, so I have four large Christmas whips and each one is going to get five days in July. They don't have to be consecutive, although that would like make the most sense, you know, just stitching on a Monday through Friday. Um, so they get five days. This has had two, so um, it gets three more days. And then after this, um, I haven't picked what order I'm doing everything. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking next week because it is my birthday, I want to stitch on one of my favorite ones. I mean, I like them all, but one of my favorite ones is plaid tidings by little stitch girl. So I have a feeling that's what I'm going to be working on next week. Um, and so those are my Christmas and July plans. Um, so far I've liked the, the, um, the smalls Priscilla and Chelsea have come out with for Jolly July, but none that really grabbed my attention. Um, so I, I don't know if I'll be stitching any of those. Okay, my friends, um, we got a bit to haul. Okay. Okay, so first thing, I guess we'll go from smallest to largest. I placed an order with It's Charm School because she was having a sale for the birthday of her shop, I believe. 
Um, so I ordered this Alice in Wonderland floss ring. And then I broke my tail tucker. So I ordered new ones. And I ordered another bee and a donut. These are, and I love these. I think these are fantastic. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble with the donut. It has come apart a little bit, but I think if I just take some glue, I should be fine. Um, so mm, they're just so delicate. I don't want to break another one. And, and to be fair, I broke it because I was trying to get a thread through and I thought like it should have gone through just fine, but I think the thread got caught or something and it, it like split the, the needle portion. So it wasn't even useful anymore. But again, I highly recommend it's charm school. Um, I have a couple of her floss rings now. Um, I really like those and I really love the tail tuckers. Tail tuckers are like major game changer for me. Really like them. Okay, so the next thing, we'll do this one next. I ordered a Lilla floss buddy from Bags Plus. I saw this and was like, oh, heck yeah. I know exactly what I'm going to use it for. It's Wizard of Oz. Do you know what I'm going to use it for? Do you? It's going to be for the Owl Forest Wizard of Oz pattern. I just, I this is so cute. I love it. It's so, and this came really quickly. I feel like the first time I ordered from her, things came... I don't know. I, mean, I think I feel like it took like a month, maybe. Um, but this order did this come with that? You know what? I think this this floss buddy came with this order. Now that I think about it, I think it did because she was having a sale. Um, so I got both of these, and this is the one I'm using for the candy corn of mischief. This package though, I feel like came in two weeks. It was so quick, so quick. Um, <laughs> this I forgot I had ordered. Um, so speaking of stitches and things, Debbie, which she is fantastic. If you email her, she gets back to you so quickly. Um, I had emailed her a couple of mirabilias I was looking for, and she was able to hunt down this one. Um, this is the Halloween fairy and it's a kit comes with all the classic color works and the fabric and the pattern. Um, this fabric also kind of looks like that candy corn one. Um, oh, and it comes with the, the beads. So, um, but I completely forgot because she ordered it from the which old, uh, she ordered it from whichever distributor. And now my mind is blanking. So it took a while to get to her. So by the time she billed me for it, I was like, what did I order? Um, and I was like, oh, 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 oh. okay. Um, so I'm very excited. So I have this one and I have the Thanksgiving Harvest Fairy. Um, so I, I would love to do this one and finish it for Halloween this year. Again, we, we know how it goes with me and plans. Never happens. Um, so, so I was really excited to get that. So fun stuff. Um, okay, and then I got an order from Abby, the top knot stitcher. She, was she also having a sale? I think she was having a sale on some of these charts and then one of them I was just planning on getting anyways. So, let's see if they're, what order they're in. Okay. So, I got, she was having a sale on her Housewives chart, so I picked up some of the monthly ones that I was missing. So, here is June. It's got all of the strawberries, which my, when Amelia says strawberry, the way she says it, it's just the cutest thing. It's like, I, I, I can't even do an impression of it because it just, it's just adorable. 
um, September, October, November. I already have December. I already have July and August. Um, July is I got because it's my birthday and my husband's birthday. August I got because it's Amelia's birthday. And then I had December and January because I was like, bookends, you know, beginning and end of the year. Um, so, and I had originally only planned on doing some of the months, like the months that really mean something to me, but I think I want all of them. So, um, November, those turkeys look massive. And then this is not a month, but it's one that I've enjoyed, I've liked. This is Calvin and Clyde. Um, I think I would do this a little bit differently though. Um, I do like the way that it looks on this truck, but I'm, I'm not a fan of the white vine. And I think that's why I've held off on this pattern for so long is because I, I'm not thrilled about the white vine, um, or really the blue fabric. So I will dye my own fabric for this and then I will change the color of the vine probably to a greenish color or brown based on whatever color fabric I dye. Um, and then the last pattern I picked up that I'm very excited about and I think I'm going to do this one for August camp. We'll see. Um, this is Heartstring Samplery. I wish you lived next door. Well, it's called next door, but it says, I wish you live next door. And so my stitching BFF and I, we both have this pattern um, and we're going to stitch it for each other. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, that would be Courtney, Courtney Lancaster from Stitches, Please. Um, so we have this, we're going to stitch it together. Um, and then I don't know if we're going to FFO it for like, but I'm going to FFO the one I do for her if she wants me to. Um, we FFO things differently, I feel like sometimes. So it would be interesting to see what, what we come up with, but I'm very excited to do this. I think I would change the colors a little bit, um, just based on like what I have. Cause I, for August, you have to use either a new to you fabric or, um, a new to you floss. And so I was thinking about using almond M&M's silks. For this um so we'll see but I'm, I'm really excited to do this and I think this is kind of large 107 by 69 although Michelle Bendy just finished this and she's been showing her progress on Instagram stories and I feel like hers wasn't that it didn't look that big I don't know um but yeah I'm very excited for that one okay let's see um I got my June fabric of the month from Fiberlicious. I get 32 count linen, 17 by 26, plain, not opalescent, but it's a peach color. It's very pretty. It's so pretty. Um, and I'm, I'm in this club to build my fabric stash. Um, and I've really been enjoying the colors we've gotten so far. Her July, oh my gosh, it's it's based off of aloe vera, like the aloe plant. Green is my favorite color, so I think like subconsciously she like knew it was my birthday and did green. Um, I'm so excited for this month's fabric. It is so beautiful, so 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 beautiful. Um, so that was that one okay so then my second to last thing i have been wanting to try victorian motto um floss uh nell from little yellow house craft she is in their floss club and so she talks about them all the time a lot of her projects are in victorian motto floss and this month they started or they restarted i'm not quite sure and Etsy and an eBay account where they're going to sell all their stuff. Um, because before their website was really like more so a blog and it was, I don't know. I felt like it was a little difficult to order. So I never, I never ordered. Um, 
but they had some floss packs on there and oh my gosh this one oh, wow these are soft this one that I got I I okay I got it because of the names but like also the colors are beautiful so the pack is called Sleepy Hollow and Ichabod Crane so this one is Ichabod Crane it's got some like it's like a gold with some brown variegation in it very pretty Von Tassel which is the orange uh, whispering hollow which is like a a more muted orange when you look at all of these these three together this is whispering hollow Van Tassel and Ichabod Crane um, oh, I think a lot of these colors would look really good with Calvin and Clyde. Um, okay, this one, Shadows in the Hollow. It's like a, it's like a, I want to say it's more of a dark gray than a black, but it's, it's very pretty. Um, oh, okay. I did say that green is my favorite color, but we'll save the purple for last. So this green is called Spirit of the Pumpkin. It's got some beautiful variegation to it. Oh man, just a very nice dark green. And then this one is Purple Night. This purple is beautiful. I love this. Um, so I'm very excited for these. I'm also going to be redoing my storage for my cross stitch stuff because I've been working really hard to reorganize everything and organize it um, kind of like, I don't know, put everything in bins, kind of like the home edit. I'm like obsessed with organizing, but the home edit or Marie Kondo, how everything's in bins and things like that um, to just make my life easier. So one of those areas includes my cross stitch stuff. So I'm going to be um, redoing everything and I might make a video of me doing it or just at the end going through everything. I don't know. Um, so I think I really like how I've seen several people use those like stacking clip together storage containers um, and their separate their fancy floss is separated by color I really like that because I feel like I definitely want it separated by color but I don't really want to take the time to go through and put them in their own individual bags in a box like I have them right now so there's that okay so my last bit of haul is very exciting um it's it's actually it's not haul it's stitchy kindness uh very much stitchy kindness uh i was sent a package of patterns from a subscriber of mine who i have come to know um and we chat um she was watching one of my videos from a, a couple months ago and I talked about a certain pattern that I really, really wanted, but I just don't foresee myself ever buying. Um, based off that description, you might know which one I'm talking about. So she messaged me and she said that she had that pattern and she was in the process of stitching it, but she was almost done and she thought she would be done by June. Um, and then she would send it to me with the one stipulation that when I finish it, I pass it along to somebody else, which like, Yes, 100%. So June comes, the end of June comes. I knew she hadn't finished because she'll occasionally post her progress on Instagram. And I knew she hadn't finished it. And I'm in no rush, no rush at all. Um, Sonia, I'm in no rush, please. Um, <laughs> and so she, she messaged me and she said, you know, because I haven't finished this other one, I've sent you some other patterns that I've picked out. And she said, you know, I, I do think 
we have different styles of what we like to stitch. So I felt like I had a difficult time picking out patterns for you, but I hope you like what I picked. And I was like, oh my gosh, like you did not need to do this, but thank you so much. Um, I opened the package. Sonia, you could not have picked better patterns for me. <laughs> um, I'm, I am obsessed with all of them and they're, they're all so beautiful. And so, um, yeah. So the first thing is, it doesn't say, okay. It's from a magazine that just a few pages out of it. It looks like it's the ultimate Joan Elliott collection. Um, but when it came out of the package, this is what I saw. And I went, because a couple videos ago, I talked about my love for Japan and geishas and the history of Japan. And so I just, I saw this and I went, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so there are, I think there's two patterns. Whoop. I don't know okay okay so there's pat the pattern for this one this purple geisha that's just absolutely stunning and then this one again absolutely stunning absolutely stunning um i have just these are gorgeous so I'm, I'm very excited to read about these. I think there's little blips in here about them. Um, and, and then stitch them one day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so then she sent three lavender and lace patterns, which I don't have any lavender and lace, but lavender and lace, the designer, is her name Marilyn? Does it say on here? Uh, the designer, she's the mom. She's the mom of Nora Corbett, who is the designer behind, oh yeah, Marilyn, yeah. She's the mom of Nora Corbett, who is the designer behind Mirabilia. So a lot of lavender and lace Mirabilia and Mirabilia, they have like very similar vibes in the way that they're all done. So, this one is, what is the name of this one? two of them were not opened. This one was, not that that matters. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so this one is Angel of Spring. That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The next one, is the quilt maker which I think is so cute this gives me little women vibes and I just think it's so adorable with you know the mom and the daughter sewing a quilt the last one I am very excited about because I have had this series on my wish list on one two three stitch for a while um, and have always wanted to do it because I just think they're absolutely stunning. This is Celtic Summer. I love the Celtic autumn, spring, winter, summer. I think they are so pretty. And this one especially with the green and the purple. Beautiful. So, Thank you so much, Sonia. I am floored. I like, this is just the kindest, the kindest thing. Um, I'm so excited to stitch these. Um, don't know when I will get to them, but I will get to them. And I'm very excited. Um, but that was also, that was the last thing. That was the last thing. So, um, let's see, we got we, a lot of haul, some whips. Um, gonna go work and hopefully maybe have like frog wart stuff in the background that I can like you know chime in here and there and say hi um 
kind of thing. Swim started again this week, which has been fun. The kids seem like they are, I mean, from day one in May to where we are now, it is, they are like complete 180. It is, they're, it's fantastic. Um, but so yeah, so swim started this week and I'm working more in the office because I'm finding I get more done when I'm in the office rather than being at home. But I still come home for lunch so that I, it forces me to actually eat home, eat lunch at home and not order Chipotle or Panera or something. Um, I live like five minutes from my office, so that's doable for me. Um, so with that, that is everything. I hope you all had a safe 4th of July. Um, we didn't do anything. <laughs> we really didn't. Uh, I think, oh no, we went grocery, I went grocery shopping. Um, and it was fantastic because like nobody was out. Everybody was, was like out partying, I guess. But yeah, so next year, I'm gonna go grocery shopping on 4th of July, that's for sure. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's it. I think that's it. I'm not expecting a huge haul for my birthday, just FYI. <laughs> we don't really do big things for birthdays anymore. Um, just cause like, I, I'm just turning 29. Maybe next year when I turn 30, it'll be different. But, uh, you know, we'll probably just, and then my husband's birthday is on the 23rd. So we're both going to be 29 and we're probably just gonna order sushi. That's what we do every year is we go get sushi because it's the one meal that the kids don't eat. <laughs> so that's it. That, that's my plan. That is my plan for the week. Um, I'm excited about that. So with that, I hope you have a great weekend and a great week and if you are doing frog warts I hope you are having fun and um, I hope that I get to see you more and participate more and um, and I will see you next week bye guys